We were lucky to get our hands on that cyborg arm developer. There's no one in Diamond Dogs who can so much as maintain that thing. Bionic arm, not cyborg, if you go by what he calls it. But you're right, the East is light years ahead in bionics. They can even detect through the skin the slight electrical signals from the brain that order muscles to move. And the Soviet Union completed their first bionic arm capable of doing that back in the 60s. Although I guess that news didn't really reach the West. No kidding. Zdornov's was the only one I ever saw. Quite a shock to see it for the first time. And it was no mean feat to get hold of Snake's arm. I couldn't get one for you at the time, but you know, now... Forget it. I've no intention of relying on bionics. Right now I need to keep the pain fresh in my mind. Well, it's your decision. But don't you find it... inconvenient? Not a bit. But the phantom pain... It never lets up. Do you know how many men I saw die that day? There's nothing we can do to bring them back. And you expect me to care about getting a measly arm and leg back? <sighs> Sorry. But my pain belongs to all our dead comrades. I'll keep living with it for their sake. It'll guide me straight and true until I've gotten them the vengeance they deserve. <laughs> 